Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is August 31st, 2016, and I want to get back on the subject of our sun, because I think our sun is definitely going to play a key role in what happens when Nibiru, Planet X, gets much closer to planet Earth. But first, I want to touch on a subject as I have before. For the people who follow my videos and also the trolls who follow the videos and leave your horrendous comments, I find you very amusing, but in the end, you will definitely be the one who will be sorry for not paying close attention to what we are trying to do for mankind. Now, I know you may laugh at that statement, but there are people out there, such as myself, Marshall Masters, Max Baer from the Leak Project, Dill Martin, Chris Potter, Steve Olson. We are out there trying to inform mankind of the possibilities of what's going on. Another Nibiru researcher, Robert Evans. We put these videos together. We do these interviews and podcasts for a reason. It's not to simply make money because none of us are ever going to become multimillionaires informing the world about the possibilities of what's going to happen. So for all of you that follow all of us as Nibiru researchers, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My sole purpose is to try to get the information out there. So maybe there is a possibility that we will survive. Now, some people call us fear mongers. Well, that's just pretty stupid because I would much rather live in the world that I live in today than to live in the world that is possibly coming up. So think about it. Now, Marshall Masters put it bluntly and he put it perfectly when he said, you will now become the hunted like an animal. And maybe if you would have stopped for a minute and held your vicious comments and tried to learn something, try to jump on the bandwagon and save mankind, at least educate yourself and try to save yourself. The choice is yours. I've made a choice. So have my Nibiru researcher colleagues. We've made a choice. And that choice is to inform mankind on the possibilities of what's coming. Now, if that doesn't make any sense to you, then you must be the one wearing the tinfoil hat. Now, I won't delete all of the trolls' comments because I believe in freedom of speech. However, I will delete them from time to time. And I will block you from this channel because this channel on YouTube is meant to inform people and educate people on the possibilities of what may happen if this planetary body and nemesis solar system does pass by Earth. Because if it does, it will cause cataclysmic events that will definitely change mankind. And for you little trolls who leave these stupid comments, it will change your life forever. So I'm going to leave you with that thought and you can place that thought under your little tinfoil hat and sleep on it. Now let's get to the main subject for this video. I was viewing some of the Lasco Space Telescope images dated for August 30th, 2016. And you can clearly see that there are some massive explosions coming from the sun. I believe these are definitely attributed to the distance that Planet X is to the Sun. There are a lot of anomalies passing by the Sun. Some of them are possibly extraterrestrial. Now, you may laugh at that, but in the photographs towards the end of this presentation, you're going to see a few photographs that look like UFOs. These streaking objects going past the sun are absolutely amazing. As you can clearly see on your screen, 
this doesn't look like it would be a comet or a meteor or an asteroid. Now moving into some of these other images that are again dated for August 30th, 2016. If you take very close attention to all of the celestial bodies that are surrounding the sun, it's amazing. It looks like space is just littered with debris. Now, we know that Nibiru's tail is over a million miles long, and it is full of debris. Now, moving into this photograph, I zoomed in to one of the previous photographs because I saw this object. What is this? I have no idea. But it definitely looks very suspicious. Is it a spacecraft? Is it Nibiru, Planet X? I don't know, but it definitely looks suspicious. The ejections coming from the sun are absolutely amazing and in the same aspect very scary. Something that we definitely have to pay attention to. Now I was looking at some other images once again dated for August 30th and I noticed all of these huge sunspots and explosions on the sun. Now the sun does this on a normal basis. However, over the past few weeks, viewing these photographs and videos coming from Lasco, I noticed that the activity on the sun is just becoming more and more intense. There's no doubt about it, folks. I believe that our sun is definitely going through some type of change. And the change is violent. It's very eruptive. And I'm not an expert on our sun. I'm not a scientist. But from what I've been viewing, and as I educate myself, this looks very scary. Now, over the past few months, I'm sure everyone has felt the intensity of the sun on your skin. And also the brightness of the sun seems to be more intense. Now, I try to view these images at least once a day and each and every day they seem to be more explosive the images are on your screen there's no doubt about it this is not some photoshopped pictorial these are actual photographs you yourself can go to the internet and there is a website called helioviewer.org and you yourself can go and view what you're seeing on your screen. You can go back in time and you can see what's happening. Now, the photograph that's on your screen now, this is what I was talking about earlier. That little craft looks exactly like a UFO. It's not a planet, that's for sure, because in a few of the photographs that were in time-lapsed photography, it moved very far distances in a very short amount of time, and planets don't do that. Planets don't make zigzag movements across space. And that is a telltale shape of what I would say would be a UFO. And it seems the extraterrestrials have definitely ideas about the sun. Are they using it for their own energy source? There are tons of photographs from Lasco that show spacecraft literally sucking plasma from the sun. So they must be using it as an energy source. And I also believe that they know exactly what is going on with planet Earth as we speak. Will they ever intervene? I don't know. Are they allowed? Some say no. But there's definitely something going on around our sun. Now, you may laugh at my last statements here about the UFOs and the sun. But let's face it, folks. We're not the only ones out there. That is a huge impossibility. Mankind is not alone. That's for sure. Now, I wanted to add these photographs from yesterday of the sun, which included this bright green fluorescent anomaly right below the sun, just in case you were not able to view it in the video from yesterday. 
I had so many comments and so many emails on these photographs. And once again, I have absolutely no idea what that object was below the sun. I've had a lot of people give me some ideas, but scientifically, they just really didn't add up. These photographs are not photoshopped in any way. They are not enhanced in any way. And that object that you're viewing on your screen in the pictures coming up, it seems that the object is opening up. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely eye-opening. I received over 1,000 emails pertaining to these photographs. I have not been able to open up one-tenth of them. But I can definitely tell you that does not look normal. It's on your screen, folks. Check it out. Anyways, share these videos with your friends and family members. Get them informed. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of our current updates. And also, always remember, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is August 31st, 2016. And I want to get back on the subject of our sun. Because I think our sun is definitely going to play a key role in what happens when Nibiru, Planet X, gets much closer to planet Earth. But first, I want to touch on a subject as I have before. For the people who follow my videos and also the trolls who follow the videos and leave your horrendous comments, I find you very amusing, but in the end, you will definitely be the one who will be sorry for not paying close attention to what we are trying to do for mankind. Now, I know you may laugh at that statement but there are people out there such as myself Marshall Masters Max Bear from the leak project Dill Martin Chris Potter Steve Olson we are out there trying to inform mankind of the possibilities of what's going on another Nibiru researcher Robert Evans we put these video 